Artificial intelligence is coming for jobs now more than ever before. India's chief economic advisor issues a warning. For years, we have heard the same story. AI will replace some jobs but create new ones. But now, ahead of the Union Budget 2025, aka AI Budget 2025, India's chief economic advisor V. Anantha Nageswaran just dropped this reality check. Deployment of artificial intelligence presents both opportunities and challenges. Uh, past technology revolutions in general, sometimes we all feel that technology eventually generates more jobs than it displaces. That is true. But the key word is eventually. What happens between now and eventually is critical. And that is where I think we need to create supporting institutions, enabling institutions to train them, to prepare them, and academic curriculums have to change, workplace practices have to change, etc. So therefore, technological transitions have not been painless in the past, particularly during the previous three industrial revolutions in the Western world. And we need to learn from them. And that is what this, uh, this chapter covers. Yes, AI will create new jobs, but only eventually. And what happens between now and eventually? That is where the real crisis lies. AI disruptions are coming now faster than expected. In the latest economic survey, Nageshwaran highlighted that India is not ready for the disruption that AI is bringing. AI will replace jobs and AI just might create new ones. But this transition period, this time in between will be painful for millions. Why you ask? India's IT and BPO sectors, which employ millions, are among the most vulnerable to AI automation. 78.5 lakh jobs need to be created annually to sustain India's workforce. But firms are cutting costs with AI, cutting them heavily, not investing in reskilling workers. The private sector is failing to step up. Nageshwaran did not hold back. He called out India's private sector for failing to invest in AI research. 50% of India's R&D spending comes from the government, 41% from business enterprises, and only 9% from universities. Compare this to global AI leaders like the USA, China. India is failing behind in AI innovation. If AI adoption is rushed, inequality will skyrocket. Low-income workers will be the ones to hit first and hit badly. Companies prioritizing AI over job creation will face backlash. The government may have to intervene with AI taxation. He directly referenced the IMF's proposal to tax companies that replace workers with AI. If the private sector does not handle AI responsibly, policy intervention is inevitable. So what is the future of AI in India? Catalyst or crisis? If India does not handle this transition well, AI will not be an opportunity. It will be a crisis and a major one at that. Will India's AI mission be enough to safeguard these jobs? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And for more real-time updates from the world of AI just like this, subscribe to AIM Media House. Think AI, think AIM.